Hey there, everybody. Welcome to 2023. It's good to see you. <laughs> it's going to be a great year. Um, I, I, uh, I, you know, one of the things on my channel that I have struggled with, um, I am going to share, I am going to share with you my first video on money mindset, and I'm going to share three tips with you to help you get started. These are the first three things that I want you to do if you're um, making a goal and you want to start a business or you want to start making some money. This is the first three things I want you to do. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. But one of the things I'll just share with you real quick. I am struggling with um, how some of the channels, you know, they have these beautiful offices and beautiful sets. And uh, I just, I, I struggled with that. And I kept trying to come up with something. And I'll be honest with you, last year was a rough year for us. Um, in the sense, not rough, but different. We had a lot of changes. Um, my mother moved in with us. She's 89 and that's been wonderful, but we gave her my office space and that was the space that I used to do my video. So, you know, it's fine. Um, you're just not going to see the reason I'm telling you this. You're just not going to see all these beautiful backgrounds and things like that. I will do my best to give you a, uh, to vary the background. Like today, this is outside. This is our property, our driveway. It's been snowing. Um, but you're not going to see beautiful Christmas trees and things like that. And, and I love those. Don't get me wrong, but it's just not going to happen. All right. So let's get down to business. When you want to start a business, when you want to start bus um, making money, typically you have a dream, right? You can be sitting there right now like, this is what I want to do. I want to make money. And I have this dream of how I'm going to do it. The problem is a lot of times people have this dream, but they don't give any details to the dream. They're just like, well, I want to start a rental business. Well, how are you going to do that? Did you, you know, did you put any details to it? And another thing that a lot of times stops the dream is when other people start telling you you're crazy. Like you're, you work at McDonald's. How are you going to be a realtor? Like, are you nuts? You're not, you're not able to do that. And you know, then we start thinking, well, maybe I am nuts. I'm going to give you a little story. When I had a dream, um, I'll try to keep it short, but I, oh, it's been, what year was it? Oh, 2005. Okay. I was a single parent. I still had my two youngest girls at home. I was actually homeschooling. I was teaching online and I, I was babysitting. <laughs> and I also had a job whenever their dad came to get them, I would go wait tables because I'm very productive. I don't like to just sit around. So I had different streams of income. I've always been that way, but I had a dream that I wanted to move to the country. We lived up near a, a or, or suburban area outside of a city and I just always wanted to buy some land as you can see that dream came true because I'm on it but back then all my friends okay here I am a single parent um raising two kids by myself you know trying to work three jobs you know I was busy homeschooling I was homeschooling them too at the time and again it wasn't a chore to me. That's just how my life was. And I have always enjoyed doing lots of things and being productive, like I said, but everybody else would look at me and they'd say, you're crazy. You're not going to buy any land. And, and I'm not talking like an acre. I was like, I wanted at least 10 acres or more. And the fun thing is I had a Jeep and that was a different dream, but I got that. Um, it was an old one <laughs> falling apart with a hole in the floor. My youngest daughter and I would get in a Jeep and we would just, she would just blare her music. She was young. And we would drive around looking for land. So finally, I found some. I'm going to say, well, I bought it in 2005. So this is going on from like 2000 to 2005, five years of looking for this land. And everybody tell me I'm crazy. Well, it finally got to 2005. And I thought, I got to stop talking about this and do something. I got to put some action behind this. Because like I said, I was looking and I found some, but I didn't have a plan. And finally, I, I, found, I found what I wanted. It was 25 acres, got the price, how much it would be. And I thought I got to go to a bank and borrow some money. Now again, who's going to borrow money to me, right? Or lend money to me. I go to the one bank, they deny it because I already had a house that I was paying on, um, had a car payment. <laughs> so here, you know, single parent. So finally, it was about the fourth bank. And I said, God, if I'm not meant to have the land, just deny me again and I'm done. And this was in another neighborhood. It was like two counties over. I was on the way to my friend's house. She was one of the ones telling me I was crazy, by the way, it was love. <laughs> and I, I, uh, I went in the bank and she said, oh my gosh, today is the day we are lending money to anybody that comes in with reason. 
And so I told them what I was buying, told them how much it was. I said, let figure out the payments and I'll let you know if I can afford to pay it. And I said, oh, I make that on my uh, serving job that, you know, my extra job, I wait tables. And I said, I can do that. And lo and behold, I got the loan. Okay, so I didn't build on it until five years after I bought it. And I actually met my husband. <laughs> so it was a, 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 a very good ending to that story. But the point is I kept talking about it. I kept dreaming about it and I didn't let it go. Now, did I do it perfectly right? What I'm going to talk to you about today, I didn't do this part, but I did, or I could, probably could have done it sooner and gotten it sooner. Let's put it that way. I probably talked about it too much, but um, I did get it and I didn't let other people destroy my dream. I got a video real quick I want you to watch. I just watched this the other day by Jeff Bezos and it's not like he's my hero or anything, but I loved the story that he told in this one video. You know how videos pop up once in a while and you're like, oh, I wanna watch that. Um, but I, I thought this kind of went with what I wanted to talk about. So I'm gonna show that to you right now. I was working at a financial firm in New York City with a bunch of very smart people. And I had a brilliant boss I much admired. I went to my boss and told him I was gonna start a company selling books on the internet. He took me on a long walk in Central Park, listened carefully to me, and finally said, that sounds like a really good idea, but it would be an even better idea for someone who didn't already have a good job. You can have a job, or you can have a career, or you can have a calling. And if you can somehow figure out how to have a calling, you have hit the jackpot, because that's the big deal. I met Jeff Bezos 25 years ago, and he told me, Dave, I want you to invest in my company. What are you doing? I'm going to start a bookstore in my garage. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put it online. People will buy, buy online, and I'm going to ship out of my garage. But, but if you invest in me, Dave, someday I'm going to be the richest man in the world. I'll, I'll do over $100 billion. First of all, there is no such thing as $100 billion <laughs> 25 years ago. Statistically, there's no such thing. Countries didn't have a hundred. Our national debt wasn't a hundred billion dollars. And this dude's telling me at 26 years old that he's going to be the richest man in the world because he has a garage and the internet. That was his truth. No, but he did not. He did not know it and neither did I. But the difference between him and I is I was laughing, scoffing and jesting at him and he was already applauding himself going at the right way at the perfect time, I'm going to make as much as I can as quickly and I'm sitting there going, there's no way this is going to be a big business. Do something you're very passionate about and don't try to chase what is kind of the hot passion of the day. Seen in that light, it really was a difficult choice. But ultimately, I decided I had to give it a shot. I didn't think I'd regret trying and failing. And I suspected I would always be haunted by a decision to not try at all. After much consideration, I took the less safe path to follow my passion. And I'm proud of that choice. Now, as you can see in that video, he was nuts. He wanted to sell books out of a garage and he could have let other people tell him he was crazy or stupid, but he didn't, he did it anyway. And I, I want, if nothing else, think about Jeff Bezos and look what he has become. I mean, I can't sit here and tell you, you know, I only bought some land. I didn't become a millionaire and have this thriving business with that dream. But I want you to think about him and what he has accomplished. I mean, when you go online to buy something, what do you think, Amazon? I mean, that's just a household word, isn't it? Um, so that really, that really struck me. I'm watching that. Okay, so what do we do after we have this dream, okay? What I want you to do next is come up with the details. And that's the part that, yes, I had details how I was going to achieve it, but I didn't put those details on paper. And that's the part that many of us don't do. We might have it in our head. I did. I had it in my head, but I never wrote it down. I never said, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to work this many hours and get this much money. I did when I had to go to the bank, but for five years, I probably wasted some time by not bringing those details in. So write it down. 
like a map so that you have something to follow. And I think this is the most important part. And even now I have my business um, YouTube. I'm gonna share all my different income streams with you throughout the year of 2023. I shared a video last week about how, what I wanna share with you this year, where my, where my heart is, my mission for you is to help you to take that dream and make it real and, and change your money mindset. That's in a nutshell. Um, that I want to share with you this year, along with, you know, what are our different income streams that we can make and things like that, but write it down. So what I did this year, I wrote down every income stream that I have, um, working towards my retirement. What do I want my retirement to look like? And one of them was sitting on a, in a little lake house on a lake. And I want my commune for all my kids to move out there and they all call it the commune and that's fine. They make fun of me. Um, but if they don't move there, I know that they'll get a vacation home out there because I just know they will. Um, but write it down exactly how much money that you want to make. So I wrote down what my income streams will be and it can change. I can add. I mean, that's not a problem. But I also wrote down how much money am I going to make from each one? So one of the things that we are working on are short term rentals and you'll get to see my husband built a grain bin house this year. We um, have the, um, I'm gonna let you look right behind me here. Uh, let's see here, can you see it's all snowed? See that round circle behind me? That is the foundation for the grain bin house and it's on the front part of our property. And we're gonna turn that into a short term rental and also a hunting um, rental for people because we've got hunting out here. Um, but our goal is to build seven of them. Um, eventually and have that income coming in. And I have written down exactly how much money I expect to make from that. Now, I wasn't over elaborate. I was very realistic, um, you know, and, and, and it's a doable goal. If more comes in, that's great. And then I wrote down all my other income streams. I've got affiliate marketing. I've got my digital products. I've got my AdSense from my YouTube channel. So all of those things all together is what I want to make for my monthly goal of my income eventually. Now, one thing I did not include in that, I know a lot of people, if you're new and you're young, I would highly recommend that you even write down how much money am I making and how much money do I need to survive? Um, maybe you don't have a house yet. Maybe you're still you know, renting and things like that. I'm in a different place in life. So I'm not putting my job on there that I have right now because that's not gonna be part of my retirement. That is something I, can't wait to quit, <laughs> but that's one of the goals. So that has to be replaced and then whatever we want to make per month. And I'll be honest with you, my goal is $40,000 a month is what but we're looking at. And you'll say, my gosh, you don't want to be a millionaire. Well, you got to remember a lot of that will go to pay taxes and also will pay for businesses and things like that. So that's not net, that's gross. So um, once all the expenses are paid, yes, we'll be comfortable and we'll be sitting on our little lake house, right? And relaxing and just enjoying what we've created. But th there you go. Three goals. One, I want you to take your dream of how you're going to make money and I want you to write it down with details, okay? And number two, I want you to not listen to the naysayers. If anybody starts telling you you're crazy, then see that as a good thing. See that as, hey, I am crazy, you know? Um, you don't wanna follow the crowd. You wanna be that one that goes their own way and they're usually the people that are successful. They're not following everybody else because if we were doing that, we would all be successful, right? Um, yes, learn from those who are successful, but don't be afraid to, to um, don't be afraid to make your own path of what you think is right. Follow your gut, uh, honestly. And number three, with those details of what that dream is, then I want you to write down how much money you want to make a month. Write it down on a piece of paper and where is it going to come from? If all that money is going to come from one stream of income, that's great, but make a goal. So I want a financial goal. The first one is, you know, take your dream, write the details of what the dream is. The third one is, what is the monetary reward for what you're doing? And write it down. And you might sit here and go, oh my gosh. You know, I know people making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on YouTube with AdSense. And every single one of them, 
started out with a zero. So no matter what you're pursuing, somebody else has done it and they started out with zero and always remember that. And we really can't, you can learn from other people, but you really can't do exactly what they did because your life is different. And that's one of the things um, I want to talk about too, as we talk about money mindset is, you know, how do you make this all work with your family and your life and all the hurdles and all of that? How do, how do we do that? And that's a lot of what I want to talk about this year as well. Cause I know people, they think they have to work like 12 hours a day and they get burnt out and it's not worth giving up your life to succeed, you know, to get something for later. We, we need to be in the present and that's just an extra tip, but you, you want to, you want to enjoy your present as you're pursuing that future. Okay. So I, I want to give you that too. I hope this leaves you feeling like, wow, this is, this makes sense. This is something I can do. And that's what I want. I, I want you to, to see that this reality can happen, but, but it's, it's the mindset. It's up here um, where it all starts. All right. So you have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed that little bit of snow that we have behind us. I don't know if it's videotaping really well. And, um, I'll see you on the next video. The money mindset videos are going to be in a playlist and I'll have them numbered because there is going to be a sequence in how I share the tips. So this one will be number one and I'll put the playlist at the end. Obviously, if you're watching it right when I publish, there's not going to be others yet, but just know that there will be more and you can go back and, and watch them. Just subscribe to my channel and then you'll be able to, to catch them when they come out. You have a blessed day and thank you so much for watching and, um, uh, this is our year, 2023.